Tony's off to France to go fishing for carp and catfish. So I'm gonna lend him a GoPro camera, give him a quick lesson on how to use it. Uh, let's see how he gets on. You didn't press that before, you just press that thing. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, so it's filming now, right? Okay, and that's it. Which yeah. way round? If you're so, filming me, that way. Yeah. So I look through the little... So you can see... The you big can lens, see, yeah. so I can see what's see happening. Yeah. And then right. filming, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it can pick up my yeah. Yeah. Uh, voice. Yeah, yeah, it's got like, two microphones yeah. on here. Um, just as a gross error check, see that little symbol there? Yeah. That means it's filming a video. Uh, because it was a bit noisy outside, I'm just going to do the intro again. Welcome to the Tony's Tattle Sea Match channel. We're off today to France for a week and we're going to go and catch some carp, hopefully, and we'll keep you informed. Thank you. Joe's going to be sleeping in there for the week. Just show you inside. That's the plaque, it's been on there for years. I'll show you a bit of inside of the cottage and uh, hopefully they won't swear. <laughs> that goes up there. That's it in here. There's Jill having a beer. <laughs> and a kip in a minute. And a kip, hopefully. He's been driving all the way, so he's done well. Bob's on the food. How's the roast dinner going, Bob? <laughs> Bob. Yeah, roast. You're on. Go! <laughs> 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 no, this is the cottage. Bob's going to be doing a bit of cooking this week. Me and Joe are going to catch all the fish with a bit of luck. We'll see. Catch you later. Right, turn off. Can't win, can you? Well, you can't turn it on now, can't turn it off. this thing? Oh God, I've had it Bob. Bob, I've had it, I can't get this out. Bob, I can't get this out, I've had it. Look, just hold the rod for a minute, keep it tight, just hold it like that for a minute. You'll have to edit that bit out. You didn't have it on, did you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's on now. So you have to edit it. Right, have you got it? Is it playing? Can I get my shoes on? Somewhere here. Well, don't my matter, shoes. does it? I <laughs> know. Oh, Why have you got to have your shoes on? Well, in case I get a bloody great thing in my foot, it ain't going to be good, is it? Right. <laughs> Right. Well, you start filming now then, Tone. Yeah. From now, all right? Okay, you've got to come down here then. Right, okay. I read it's a car. It might be quite a good one. Let's go up down there, let's see. Get a bit of the rod in if you can, Bob. Chris is Ziplex, he's Shimano. <laughs> oh, it's gone off. Right then, put it off, press off. No, press no. it, keep your finger on it, then press it on again. No? Yeah. Oh, he's going down there, look. Wrong side. 
Oh, I'd really probably should be over here. Oh, we ain't got a net. We've got that net. We'll just sit here. Might be a nice carp, this. Well, it's a nice day to catch one. Lovely and sunny. Yep. And middle of Lovely the day. Lovely conditions. Middle of the day. He's on the top here, look. That's where you've got to be now, look. Out there. Oh. Yeah, you see him break in a minute. No, look here. I'll wait till it gets closer here. Otherwise I'll bully it and then we'll be in trouble. <laughs> oh, it's gone off again, Tony, haven't you? Yeah, it goes off sometimes. Why haven't you it charged off. it? Don't know. It's charged, it just goes off. Whether it's still filming, I don't know. But obviously Chris will edit it out. Um, has it gone off again? It's a nice fish, this, look. That's where you should be filming, there. <laughs> there. Look, watch, on the top, in a second. See him? Got him? On the top there. Lively little thing, I think. Don't look that big, Bob, to be honest with you. Getting bigger. About 20, I think. You get them big ones and they're slower, you know what I mean? This is a bit erratic, you know? <laughs> it off and then back on again. Not fighting well, do they? The last dive, I think, in the reeds. Same rod again. See, I made that rig, Bob. Yeah. The others ain't moved. I have two fish on this rod now. I spent about an hour and a half making a rig. Get it right. Right, you should get him in a minute. I'm got the very there. lively though. No, I mean you should get him on film. Got him? He might be bigger than you think. Same as the other one, isn't he? About 20 plus. Mm. Um, right, we need that net then. You better turn it off then. Well, leave it on, Bob, so you can get a bit of him now, look here. And then I'll get in. Quite a nice fish. I'll get the net, yeah? That do. Right? Yeah. Got to get it up here, Bob. Come here. Oh. <laughs> That's it. You filming? Yeah, you say something. Right. I think it's about 90. You're just going to weigh it. On a very small look, on a king prawn boilie. <laughs> nice. Pan round slowly for you. Beautiful sunrise up there. There's some big fish in this lake. Very big fish. Right, and Gerald's in peg uh, 17. Oh, by the way, what I was saying is I've always fished uh, number 18. I've caught so many fish, and last year my son went in 18 because we had a few beers on the way down. So basically he was winding me up. So instead of waiting for him to move, I just come storming down here with a huff. And uh, last year I caught so many fish, you wouldn't believe it. Um, I probably fished really hard, to be honest with you, because I was angry. But I just ended up catching stacks of fish. I couldn't go wrong on the last day. I had two rods. Gerald had one, I had the other. And then the third rod went off. All at once. It was just crazy. I must have fed it well. Well, I did feed it well. I made sure it was tight. There's a bank through the middle here. There's a trench through the middle, like a gully. And the fish run along it. And if you fish at either edge of it, 
on the harder ground you get plenty of pickups but a lot of the lakes are quite silty so you have to try and land where you can find a bit of gravel or something you know but we know where it is we've been here so many times we've even mapped it out you know so anyway it gives you an idea and i'm going to crack on the next time i come on hopefully got some nice fish take care bye I think I got it. I'm thinking I left it for the camera. Try and see a bit of film. I've had it the wrong way round. <laughs> it's still there, I think. It's dropping back now. Better hit it. Right, we're in. I think the camera's still filming, I'll try my hardest to film and play the fish at the same time, which is not going to be easy. Unfortunately Bob and Gerald are in there again, so we'll have to do our best. Let's have a go. That's the top of the rod. Not going to be easy. I could put the camera somewhere, it might be a good result, but let's just see if we can get a bit of it. Carry on. Feels like a carp at the moment. Very slow. Sometimes they're cats. And they sort of wake up like the one last night. Don't seem to know they're for a while. It's gone right down the bottom there. I'm going to see if I can put the camera down and let it film somehow in a minute. Coming up here now. Best if I put this round my neck like Chris does, but unfortunately not organised. He's going a bit now. I might have to just put it down, I think. I was going to lose the fish, I suspect. I don't want to get that bit caught up. It's definitely a carp because he'd have been mental if it had been a catfish. By now, I think. Down here, look, it's not very big to be honest with you. Never less a fish, probably the smallest one of the week. <laughs> very small, it's common, quite small, so about 15 pound. If that, well, I'm gonna film out now, I'm gonna try and net him. Right, he's a nice, long, common, lively common, 
I think he's about 18 actually, 17 pounds. Lovely condition fish. I shall get him back quite quickly. Just weigh him quickly. See what he weighs and then uh, crack on. But it's a lovely long common, good fish. I'll show you, a, see if we can get a little still in there. Nice fish, good condition. He's going to go back. Which one? This one? Yeah. yeah. Down in the reach. Yeah. Oh. Nice fish, Bobby. This it is the expurgated version of Gerald catching a fish. Un unexpected expurgated. And it ain't in yet, so don't. Oh, so don't, bl so don't bless your souls. <laughs> <laughs> Be a nice carp, this. What more do you want? You can pass me that beer up if you want. You can pass me that beer up if you want. In the middle of summer, <laughs> catching a lovely, quite big carp. We don't know if it is a. It doesn't feel like a cat, but it's. It's not snapping enough. They usually go a lot more violent, don't they? But then it might go to its own, isn't it? Might be one of them big 30 pluses. Bit of luck. Do one. Go mad, isn't it? Ghost time, on, isn't it? Don't say that. There we go. Still quite a way out. He's up on the top there, look. You see it? Yeah. Well, he's up on the top. 30 yards out. Right over there? Yeah. That line. See that ear turned that line. What did you do with that rod? Well, don't step backwards, or you won't have a rod. I thought you put it in the If you put your route. foot up, go on. Stick your foot up. Hang on. Whoa! Little life in the old dog yet? Oh, hey. oh you mean the fish? Yeah. <laughs> Put that in the reeds there, right? Yeah. Should be well out of the way there. Oh, she's going again now. Yeah, he's a long way out. It could be a cat. Big 
because the pound to the euro yes. is not so good. Yes, yes. It yes, used to be yes. about 150 mm, 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 uh, euros to the pound. Mm, mm, now it's, and now it's uh, yeah. 1 1 or well, about 116. 1 1. 1.16. 1 1.1. 1 1. Yeah. Okay. No, there's some nice. It's all that bloody shit. cheese. That's what does it. Mm. Messes everything up. Loads of cheese. Everybody gets confused in France because they have cheese. Yes, yes, cheese. Uh, but Bob said the brand. cheese is not cheese so good. And, and, and girls. Or <laughs> you say yeah. Bob's and not so good. Girls. They did a, they did a, a <laughs> one where they, they listed all the best cheeses in the world. They laid out a panel and they, they said that the French weren't in the first 100, but then the English weren't either. <laughs> What's the best cheese in? Oh, we love cheddar. Where's the best cheese? I, the, I like the cheddar. You like the cheddar? Yeah. They, did, they put, made it 154 Way? in the world cheeses. Yes. Yeah. What well, is the best then? cheese, like elemental. Best cheese in France? No, the best, where's the best cheese? German or Dutch or uh, what? No, Italian. No, Italian? For me, oh, it's, it's French. Italian, it, it's nice, but they are second, you know. They are... That way. Fish, he's got a run, tell him, when he gets... I'm sure he's got... Do you want me to get it? Nah, he's going mad. Let's see if it's... Uh... Yeah, what do we see? Sorry about that. Um, I think it might be a cat. Just gonna try and set the camera up because I'm on my own again. See if I can film a bit of it. It's acting like a carp, but I think um, sometimes these things sort of wake up. I don't realise they're hooked. This carp there. Quite easy to be honest with you. That was the achievement to get a run on the camera, and I think it worked, which was good. Yeah, it's a cat, it's woke up, look. Can't believe it. No chance. No mental now, look. Bit. Hope you can see it. It's kicking like mad up there. I think that I might have to turn the camera off or be on the ground so it's going to be a long time. This it is a catfish. I think it is 100% now. Is it a Paid off. This was the actual. I think I said earlier. This was the rod that I wanted for a cat, and uh, it's got a nugget on it and a great big bag, which I call a cat bag, with a load of pellet and stuff in it. You know. I think it's going to be a long time. I'm going to take the camera off. I think till we get some action and try and get it in. <laughs> I'm just gonna check out on the film, I think, for a little while. Oh, there's a carp, I think, that. Oh, it's coming now. Might be a good carp. Can't quite see it, but. Well, in a minute. If it ain't, I'm afraid it'll be a kitten, because. Small one because uh, basically it wouldn't have come in this quick. I can 
see it then. I think, I think it's a nice one. Let's have a look. I think it's a nice car, to be honest with you. Could be a 30, a bit of luck. Oh, it's a big carp, look. Got him on there now, I don't know if you can see him. He might be touching 30, this thing. Um, I'm going to have to get the net and chill out, I'm afraid. I'll come back to you when I get it on the bank. <laughs> He's a nice carp. Just gonna. He's just quite quiet at the moment. Just gonna get that net quickly and get him in. He's not 30. I think he's about 25. It's quite good. It's very shallow down the edges. So it's a bit of a nightmare getting them. Right, I'll take this off again. Here we go. Then. Hopefully. Very heavy this fish, I reckon he is for, you know. Lovely fish. Hopefully I've got it on the camera. Quick shot. And I'm gonna weigh him. I'm just weighing him straight back, I'm afraid. Don't want him to get too stressed. I'll let you know what it weighs on the way back. Five pound on the scales there. I think you've got four pound to come off. No. Took the waist sling off and he's 29 and about 10 ounces, 9 ounces, just under 30. So still haven't cracked the 30 pound mirror this week. I've had a 33 pound common. You know, good to get it on film and uh, catch you later. Hopefully, you got everything the run, the lot. Very difficult to film on your own, as Chris Sparks will probably tell you. <laughs> I've done my best. <laughs> Take care. Right, there you go. Lovely. All right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Bob. Nice one. Yeah, he, Come he on. Guided it in. Right. It's not easy. Now that's where oh, it goes around that side. It's a nice fish for the north. Yeah, we'll go and get the net and we'll lower that off. They've got to be put out here. Right, go and get the net. I was trying to. Ah, oh, alright. See what we've got in town. Yeah. You'd probably ground him up actually, that's what I've done. Let him have line, Bob. Whatever you do, he's a good fish, that is. I thought this side was easier for you, that was all. That's why I was coming around there. That's difficult. Side. It's difficult when the rods are close. And also, the fish is grounding up, it's just pain. Not me.
Basically that's it. Um, we've had some terrific fishing over the years and catch you later.